The search continues for a missing kayaker who launched his boat in Lynnhaven Inlet Monday night and hasn't been seen since. The Coast Guard and several other search crews are now focusing their efforts offshore in the southern part of Virginia Beach. News to reporter Antoinette Delbell has more on the rescue effort and reaction from folks familiar with those waters. This sign under the Lesnar Bridge making it very clear, warning people of the dangers when the tide changes. And this is where crews were searching Tuesday for that missing kayaker. The extensive search for Ryan 2 stretching into a second day. The Coast Guard now zeroing in on Sandbridge in Virginia Beach, using planes, a helicopter and boats to try and find the 27 year old. The Coast Guard says two launched his red single person kayak at Virginia Beach's Lynnhaven Inlet around 1130 Monday night and never made it home. It's really harder to see the current in a way the water's you know, moving at night. Keith Sawyer has been kayaking these waters, including the Lynnhaven River, for 15 years and says when the tide changes, the current can get rough and dangerous. Well, the current out, you know, swir a lot of swirling water. So if, like if you're in a kayak, you can get like rolled over, turned around. My little great granddaughter wanted to go out in the water. I said no, because I don't know how to swim. But the Coast Guard says too was an experienced kayaker and had a plan before he set out. He was supposed to return to shore around 3 a.m. Tuesday. When he didn't, rescue crews began their search. But Captain Jennifer Stockwell says too was not wearing a life jacket. His family telling her he didn't own one. We have a family who is is really grieving um, and, and looking for hope. So really, I implore everyone to wear a life jacket out in the water. Crews finding two's kayak Tuesday near 65th Street in Virginia Beach. But with each passing hour, the search for him becomes more urgent. Many hoping for the best. I'm hoping, but you know, it's been a while. The captain telling us right now, it's hard to say when the search will be called off. In Virginia Beach, Antoinette Delbell, News 3.